Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. What does it say there? What does it want now? What does it don't say? Don't worry well, about it. Me. I'm going to look if you don't well, look. Well, then look. Okay, I'm going to go look. Uh, oh, oh, I see. i got to put in sign. Oh, that's an application thing for you. It's no big deal. I just, took, I just took her old computer. She has a, uh, a uh, she had an iMac that was her machine to use. And it wasn't working very well, was it? No, it reached its... It was slow? It was gone. Huh? It was gone. Yeah. You seem depressed or something. I don't want to get into it. What? All right? What? The way you nasty snapped at me before. I was trying to get a show on. I was also trying no, no, to get no, I'm your talking about in going. the bedroom when you said, hollered at me because I wasn't watching a program no, that yeah, you okay. fucking recommended. Yeah. That's not So, I guess my opinion doesn't matter. I was watching something else, okay? I've got the rest of my life to watch whatever. So, you, you, you as Just part of the... don't tell me what to do, Alex. As part, I'm sick of as it. As part of the rest of your life, uh, you're going to watch something you've already seen. Whatever. It's really? none of your business. What do you mean it's none of my business? You know, I just I, you don't respect my opinion about a good show that I, I guess think you not. should watch. Yeah, I have to watch it right then and there. No, so I mentioned it to you days ago. So you mentioned it to me days ago. I mentioned books to you. I don't see you reading them. Wow. Well, boy, are you being nasty. Well, look who's talking. I wasn't being particularly nasty. I was just upset because you don't pay attention yeah. to something that yeah. I say, hey, you know, this might be a good thing for you to, to watch. Do you want to do this this half hour? Or Probably would you like not. to just go live? Go to sleep? Whatever. Just go on with your no, show. No, leave me alone. No. No, just do the show. No, you just know. go ahead. Boy. I mean, I went to all this trouble. I thanked you. Took me hours. I thanked you. And you sit. I sit here waiting for it. It, it gives me agony because it it, it, it it doesn't look like it's booting, but it is booting. And it, I thanked you, know. you. How many times do you want me to thank you? What I had you? to do is I had to migrate her old computer to this one using the backup, and uh, I'm not used to doing that a lot. And uh, it's there sometimes and just doesn't do anything for Well, a it was appreciated, and I thank you for the hundredth time. You, don't, you didn't ask me a hundred times yet. When we get to the hundredth, I'll, I'll okay. feel satisfied. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. So you can be like this for the whole half Probably. hour? Really? Yeah. Boy. Well, it isn't getting us big numbers. Well, it never will. Yeah. Let me see here. So uh, and here are the two of us now together on the screen. There she is. See, she's being she's being goofy with me. That's my hat. So, it's my hat. So, so it's my hat. And your point is? So it's I I I did you did you say hey Alice can I use your hat? You're wearing a hat I bought you. Well I may, yeah but yeah but you bought it for me and I use it all the time and it's got all my cooties on it and my hat there has now got your cooties on. It. So and well, your I don't point want is? your cooties. Well go wash it. Do you remember when in school you made a cootie shot? No. It was like a thing. It was like went four different ways, and you painted little bugs inside, and then you went look, and and you went like that, and said, "See, you got cooties." No. <laughs> Did that make you laugh a little? No. You're gonna just be like so this. Just talk. You're gonna just be do like your this. Old You're gonna be like this for the whole half hour, are you? For the whole. Uh, we got 20 more minutes of this. 20, 19. 20. 19. 20. Uh, according to my clock, actually, it's 20 and a half. No, in your book. Anyway, um, so where, what, what, there were a couple of things I wanted to talk about. Oh, yeah, I got something you, you, you'd enjoy. We, um, we have to admit that we watch a couple of shows that we really don't want to admit to the rest of the world we watch. 
right? That's true. Uh, because every, everybody has some one of these stupid shows we, you watch. And in this case, uh, we spent the whole season watching every episode of America's Got Talent. And when it came to the end, the person we wanted to win won. actually won. He's a great um, musician. Well, more than that, sleight of hand artist. You know, I, I put magic into two categories. One is sleight of hand, which is to me a skill, okay? And then the illusionist, who just points to his assistant who is in the box where <laughs> she's about to be sawed in half, and the assistant does all the work, okay? He just points. So uh, a sleight of hand to me is the ultimate magic. He was good. Because it is, it's a skill in which you watch the man, and this guy's name, Shimlin, is his name? Shimlin. He's Shimlin? Shim. Shim, Shimlin. Lin. Yeah. And he was on twice on Penn and Teller get, Fool Us, and fooled them both times. And uh, he, he spent a year off because he, t he ripped a ligament or something, or he mm. cut his hand and cut a ligament. Now, when you're a sleight of hand person, that's, you know. That's your. But it was in his thumb, and he, so he worked for a year honing his craft again and came back to Penn and Teller and once again fooled them. He is so good that you can see him do this, and you can't figure out how he's doing. Right, he's really good. He, he has his sleeves rolled all the way up. So it's none of that, you know, I get something up my sleeve, right? And just, the, the, he, he's so fluid, and he's, it's like a ballet. And he, he, we just went, well, he's not going to win because he's too good. And America votes for the best, you know. And usually they it. vote for a teenager. Uh, no, he won it. I said he got it. Yeah, yeah, he won it. So we, we got thrilled by that, see. And, and it was a good payoff for all the weeks we spent watching that program. However, I spent that whole day avoiding every news story about what happened last night on America's Got Talent because we didn't watch it the night of the finals because she has to go to sleep, so. And they had all this bullshit singing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, she had to go to sleep, so we both agreed, just avoid it, right? So I, I'm like on the web, and everything's attacking me, trying to tell me who won the night before, and as soon as I see AGT or America's Got Talent, I flip I off didn't that have article. That. I had Huff Huffington Post, and I'm just scrolling on my iPhone, and I see a picture of him. So, I mean... <laughs> yeah, but that ruined it for me because well, I, I, wanted, tell I, you. I wanted to share that win with you. Well, you did share it with me. Yeah, but anyway. So he won, and that was a good news. But here, here is an interesting thing. Now, who was uh, the guy that Simon liked? The you singer. Remember? The singer, right? And, why, and what did he keep saying about him all the time? You've got a career. Uh, no, but he also talked about what a sweet, wonderful person he was. Because that's the guy that adopted or... Raises and adopts children. Right. Okay. This guy was like, uh, according to Simon, he, just gold. Well, he got the golden buzzer from Simon. Yeah, from Simon. And he loved him, and he said, you're wonderful, and you're... He's going to sign him up. You're a I wonderful bet. father. Well, I don't think he is. One of the finals on this season's America's Got <laughs> Talent go. was arrested on a felony domestic violence charge. You're kidding. Yes. Well, these are shot, the, the thing was shot months ago. No, no, not the finals. Oh, the final was live? The finals were live. So when did this happen? Like yesterday. Oh, my God. Michael Ketterer, who came in fifth on the NBC competition series, was arrested Thursday afternoon in Hollywood by the LAPD. Oh, my God. Law enforcement off sources tell us he got into a fight with his wife, and when the cops showed up, they noticed she had a visible red mark, TMZ reports. We're told he was cuffed and booked for a felony because of the injury. Ketterer was released after posting $50,000 bail. The publication spoke with Ketterer and said the incident was a misunderstanding. <laughs> he admits that he and his wife got into an argument in their hotel and the cops were called, but she told them she didn't want to press charges. Ketterer says they arrested him anyway, telling him the laws of the law. Law enforcement sources tell us the case has been downgraded to a misdemeanor because of the injury was so minor. We're told the case was being referred to the L.A. City Attorney. Now, this is the guy. Simon is such a great judge of character <laughs> because he liked this guy 
Because he says you're such a good guy. He's going to sign him up, I bet. Th huh? He'll sign him up. I don't think so. No, not after not this. Now. No, not after this. What? His little... Oh, you know what? My coffee's in the other room. Yeah, and your point is? I got to go get it. Well, go get it. Why, are you going to talk to these people while no. I'm gone? No. I, I'm just going to go get the coffee. Oh, talk. dear. Keep the, I don't you have to keep talk. the sound going. Hi. Just keep talking. <laughs> Say hi, people. Hi, people. Time. This medication that he's taking is not working. It's making him grouchy and nasty. But that's just between you and me. Don't tell him I said that. You hear me? Anyway, anyway, he's coming back. Don't say a thing. Don't, I, don't I say a you, thing. I heard what you said when I was leaving, that the medication I'm taking isn't working. <laughs> well, it's obviously, it's not. Why? What, what do you think this medication is supposed to do? Well, it made you nasty last week, and now it's making you nasty again. I don't think it made me nasty last week. Yes, it did. You were chopping all over no, me. No, no. This thing, this is to begin with, it's you not. You don't remember the little little episode at the restaurant what oh you, you didn't want to go with us because you didn't want to cross the street and because no, because no because it's a parade oh um, they have a parade here every year they have this let me get the phone fucking african parade <laughs> and it, they do it and they march up and down the street for what six hours we counted this time four four you know how many times you have to hear the same kind of band marching you know and then they bring in fire trucks and I'm thinking, like, if there's a fire somewhere, the house is going to burn down. So he was having a pissy fit. No, I, yes, didn't, you were. I didn't want to go to lunch because if we came back too late, we might not be able to get across the street back to our apartment. You have no faith in 116th Street. I don't. It's well, named Adam Clayton. Well, it, no, it's it, not. No, it's not. It's 116th Street. Anyway. Anyway, but, the pill. Huh? That was his medication that made him nasty. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, well, he'd maybe he's nasty all the time. Well, no, it's an, it's an antidepressant. It's not well, a mood elevator. Well, obviously, it's not working. No, it's it's an antidepressant, not a mood elevator. Well, it's certainly not elevating I'm, your mood. Well, I'll tell you, I'm not depressed. But you're nasty. Well, that, that has nothing to do with it. It's no, an antidepressant. Well, I'm glad, but you're nasty. Yeah, but I haven't I been delightful the last couple of days? No. No, oh, because I'm delightful right now. Uh-huh. Oh, gee, you just... Alex! What? 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 I don't forget. Nobody's watching this, by the way, so you can say anything you want to. Well, I've got 13 minutes left. Anyway. Uh, oh, oh, so anyway, well, as long as you're here. I, I was reading this yesterday. It was a uh, thing they gave me at Community, our pharmacy, uh, Walgreens Community. Uh, medication guide for amyltryptyline. This is what he decided to give me. Uh, and it says it's an antidepressant medi medicines. You ready for this? This is wonderful. May increase suicidal thoughts or actions in some children, teenagers, and young adults within the first few months of treatment. How about old people? Depression and other serious mental illnesses are the most important causes of suicidal thoughts and actions. And some people may have a particularly high risk of having a suicidal thought or action, which I, I think you're hoping I actually have. Call a health care provider. Now, here's your job. Call a health care provider right away if your family member has any of the following symptoms, especially if they are new, worse, or worry you. Thoughts about suicide or dying. Yes. What I did? I have thoughts about suicide or dying. dying? You're worried about? No, it. I'm worried about dying, but I don't think about making myself die. Attempts to commit suicide. Yes. How was that? By being nasty. You want me to kill you? <laughs> <laughs> and I will. <laughs> New or worse depression? Now I have. Oh, that's that's definitely worse. I don't have depression. You don't have depression? No. Oh. No. <laughs> Kill me. I don't have depression. <coughs> Next. Next. Uh, new or worse anxiety. Oh, my God. What? what, what I, 
You know, if anything, this drug has made me less anxious. Oh my God, I saw a whole report about cancer, though something you were looking up on the computer the oh, other day. Oh, that's the prostate thing. <laughs> and feeling agitated or restless. See, I rest my case. What do you mean? I, none of these things. I, all I, of those things. In what, in what world? In Trump's world? What? I, I think I should come over. Oh, wait a minute, there's more. Panic attacks. There we go. I don't have... Panic attacks? You've got to get to the bathroom? Panic, panic, panic? Trouble sleeping, insomnia. I have a little trouble getting to sleep, but once I go to sleep, I, I stay there pretty much. I have trouble staying asleep. Yeah. New or worse irritability. Oh, well, oh, oh my oh, oh, God. Okay. Yeah, yeah. okay, there you got me. There on all of them. There you got me. On all of them. Acting aggressive, being angry, or violent. There we go. I'm not I rest my case. How was I violent? You were screaming and yelling at me. That isn't violent. That's violent to me. Well, are, are you going to call my doctor and tell him I have all no, these things? Why? No. You don't care? I, I'm going to just let it go. Acting, its acting on dangerous impulses. Yes. What dangerous impulse? That you're buying sprees. What? How's that, wait a minute, how is that a buying spree? What buying spree? A new Alexis, a new this, a new that. A, a new Alexa? No, I'm not getting a new a Alexa. Watch. I'm not, I got, I'm getting a new watch. That's the only major th purchase that I'm making. That's it. Buying sprees. But how is that a dangerous impulse? Come on, dangerous impulse. Read more. Come on, dangerous impulse. <laughs> Read more. How is that a dangerous impulse? Because I'm going to get this knife and slice it. That might be. <laughs> An extreme increase in activity and talking. There we go. Everything I say here. Uh, uh, other unusual changes or behavior or mood. There we go again. There we go again. Visual problems. Yes. Like eye pain, changes in vision, swelling or redness around the eye. No, there you're okay. Hmm. What need you know about antidepressant medicines? Never stop an antidepressant medicine without first talking to your health care provider. We have to go off, wean, wean yourself. No, you don't, this I can't wean off of. I'm on the lowest dose possible. You still wean off them. So I take one every other day. When, you wean, when you're getting off of them, you, you wean off of them, yeah. But I mean like every other day yeah. instead of every day yeah. or something like that. Antidepressant medicines have other side effects. Uh, it's important to discuss the risk of treating depression. Uh, 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 let's see, medicines that have other side effects. Oh yeah, I can't take Xanax with this. Antidepressant medicines can interact with other medicines. That's what I just said. Not all antidepressant me medicines prescribed for children are FDA approved for use in children. Okay. A lot of this applies to kids. And older people. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> I just thought I'd let you know. So See, if, I rest my case. It, it, did you hear but him? But did you hear the part about this? They said, they said here, in, a, in, a, in big bold letters, right? Call a health care provider right away if you or your family member has any of the following symptoms. Yes, I'll run to the health care provider real quickly. You want his number? I will get <laughs> I'm on my way, Alex. Just take a nap. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Oh, by the way, the, the, you remember the guy uh, on the uh, uh, Emmys? Who Which guy? Who proposed to his girlfriend. Oh, right, right, right. Which I didn't see. Yeah. Uh, well, some Broadway insiders have bristled. At his little why because it was stuff. a show though well no like he, he was the produ the director of the Tonys that guy and he also I think he got this for being the director of the Oscars and he has been a stickler for people only taking thirty five seconds to accept <laughs> their award and he took a minute and a half and he took several minutes wow uh, uh, forty five seconds is what he asked but he got for. a standing ovation Weiss directed eighteen Tony telecasts. The Post quotes a theater exec to saying, behind the cameras, every year Glenn gives this pompous speech to all the nominees, lecturing everyone how the clock starts the second your name is called and going, that going long is unfair to your fellow nominees because it eats up time for everyone whose categories come later in the evening. Except if you're proposing. 
he that took about three minutes, something like that. Well, because then she came up on yeah, the stage. Yeah, came up on stage and he, and went, he got down on his knee. knee. They didn't like that. Six minutes. What? Six minutes. You can hardly wait to get out of here, can't you? Oh, look, your machine's dead. It went to sleep. It went to sleep. How do you want it to sleep? I have mine, uh, in fact, that'll take a while to start up because I have my, it's set the way mine is set. Which is? It takes about, oh, see, oh, I have to set it so that you can. Uh, hmm. You have to put the password every time it goes to well, sleep? Well, I can, no, I can set that. Please. Okay, so I'll, I'll set that for you. I had to set it on mine. Every time I went to sleep. Does it have the thing where you could go day by day and see the different days for history? Hmm? Like that one did? Does that have that? Uh, days for history? Well, yeah, like let's say you want to go back to two days from, you know, two days ago, how it backs up. You could do that on this? Yeah, yeah. By the way, hit again. Hit it again. See what happens here. See, it'll start up again. There. And... Um, Type in type in your password. Just do no, this. Will you do we're this? Running a I'm show. Gonna, gonna go we're start. not. Gonna we're go not working in, on the computer. I'm gonna type in the password. Five minutes. What? I'm well, just the passwords talking. there already. Uh, hey guys, you can start calling in now. No. Yes. They can't. Oh well, get ready to call in, because in four minutes I'm going to bed. Uh -huh. Well, I can, uh, yeah, I can, I can, I can fix that for you so that it won't go to the, uh, the sign in every time it goes to sleep. Right. Okay. Or I can tell it never to go to sleep, but I, I there's a thing that I can do. Uh, okay. I'll set in setting it all up for you. Doesn't that look like your old computer? Look? Almost. Can I roll over? No, you can't roll over well, yet. No, it. you got four minutes. I should never start something like what I did with starting that because then I sit here worrying about it. Yeah, and right? you blame me. Let's see here. Did I get through all my little items? I blew out all my... Oh, you know, this is the one I wanted to tell you about. What? China, the world's largest country, is escalating its crackdown on the content sector in television. It's now adopting new regulations that ban foreign TV shows in prime time. Wow. According to a new set of draft rules released Thursday, Beijing regulators will outlaw the broadcast of foreign TV shows during prime time and limit the volume of imported content that streams to China's fast-growing video platforms. As justification for the rules, regulators cite the protection of social stability and the guard and need to guard against content that deviates from core socialist values. I'll tell you something. Hong Kong's having a major problem with with China. Really? Yeah. I mean, they're they're getting involved in their politics. And, well, they and were used to being kind of really free and being able to that's right. do anything. That's yeah. right. Yeah. And it's changing. And it is changing. Uh, Not to the good. Yeah. But so anyway, this Three is minutes. this whole TV thing. So it's a whole new. Uh, it's a whole new a, era. A whole new thing they're doing. You know. So it's uh, it's amazing. Uh, let me see here. And under the new rules, non-Chinese content will be limited to 30% of total airtime, both on streaming platforms and on broadcast TV. The participation of foreign talent and industry professionals will also be curtailed. Here's the thing. Here's my question. Uh, China, I have a question about this. Can I ask my question? Please. They say streaming platforms. Okay. And foreign content. Now, does that mean all foreign content? I mean, like Netflix has Netflix originals that are done in Sweden and you know various I guess they are 30 percent I would content. imagine that yeah. they'll be able to take things out of the air the way we do yeah and see it yeah because they can get around with Facebook really yeah they, huh? they do it through something in Australia they kind of go through this link in Australia and they can get on the Facebook they might be using what's called a VPN which I have and you just I I can literally have myself routed through another country yeah. so that if I want to look at British television for instance live I can get on the BBC site and watch it because they see me as being a foreign uh, well they do something a, like that with Facebook to get yeah. around it now in Hong Kong they can do Facebook oh really there's no restriction in Hong Kong yeah okay I well, think that's good okay, okay come on over come on over I'll open up the lines you you, you, you want to stick around a little bit here no no well, then leave. No, I'll leave. I've used you. I'll leave when I don't you. need you. Do I smell? It was nice. Have you took a shower? 
I took a shower yesterday. I took a shower yesterday. Oh, oops, 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 oops. I might just... Let me see here. Here comes Vernon Nunn. Hey, Vernon. Vernon's the first one tonight. Hi. And Vernon was the first one uh, to call us uh, last night. And, of course, he always signs on with a little Morse code. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Um... um how you doing, Vernon? I'm doing fabulous. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, and uh, you, two nights in a row. What to what do we owe this pleasure? Because usually you call maybe once every quarter. Mama's out of town. Yeah, ah. uh, uh, Mama's out of town. <laughs> I see. You got to have something to do. And gee, this is the second time this week that Rob has called us. Is he calling from the garage? No, he's not in the garage. Where are you? Uh, I'm in the uh, family room. You're in the family room. Yes, I'm yeah. in the family room. Now, you know, to piggyback off what you were saying about China, mm -hmm. I just read that they they are blo they blocked one of the. Uh, it's called Twitch. It's Amazon's streaming service. No, Twitch is a a live streaming service that you can With use if you're games. if you're a gamer. Yeah. Right, and they blocked that. Really? Because they have China their own. China blocked that. Because they have their own. It it could be because the games might not be approved. You know. That could be, but they blocked it. Because so, a lot of people are very unhappy because they were watching, uh, some I I don't remember some Chinese um, their uh, uh, teams playing in some tournament or something. And a big it was the biggest. It was the biggest uh, moving free app on iOS as well. Uh, you know the all the app stores, and they just blocked it. Wow. So the, everybody's pissed off about it. Really? Why, yeah. why? I guess maybe they don't like the content of the games. Could that be? Well, competition, they, the money, a, the revenue. No. Yeah, and I, I think they're just fighting also with you know with the U.S. and yes. and this is a, another reason just to Wait block until something Paris that's going to affect. Wait until that happens. Yeah, but my question is, do do they allow the existence of video games in China? Yes. And if they do, yes, do. they do. Yeah, you, you know, you may you, some people may find that weird. But it, it, have you ever watched these people play video games? I actually get into it. Uh, I, I, in fact, there's a guy online. I'm playing like the latest Tomb Raider game. And I did the one before this. And this guy, his name is the Rad Brad, literally takes you through the whole game. He does the whole game. And he's really good at it because he narrates it himself. You know, he's going, oh, I don't know if I can jump here. Oh, she's going to get me, you know. And I'm sitting there. I'm I'm. I'm, I'm just mesmerized by him playing this game. So if you've never seen people play these games, you think it's kind of a stupid pastime, but yes. no way. It's it's It's, it's the largest revenue in entertainment of all the other entertainments combined. Oh yeah, it makes more money than movies. Ga ga uh, except, movies porn. Huh? except porn. Uh, except porn? Except porn. No, I, porn's on, on the down. Uh, you see, we're talking about making money. A video game, remember, costs 59 oh. bucks. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. they sell a million of these. That's a lot of money. For instance, this Tomb Raider I'm playing now. I watched the credits at the end. I didn't go to the end. They have this place where you can roll the credits. It took ten minutes. There must have been a thousand names on the credits, and every one of those people, I'm sure, got paid. All right. Supposedly, these games go are made at a price, at a cost of something like. Uh, uh, 25 to 35 maybe 45 million dollars you know which is you could make a pretty good movie for that but they bring in more money than all other entertainment not just film right. film and music and books and all of it together they say you can take um, television you, no you can I think you can take all of uh, professional sports and television and so on combine them together and, and they don't make the money that video games do hi Charlene quite a market out there. Hi, Charlene. Hi. Mm -hmm. Hi. Oh, I just Hi, want to girlfriend. Be, Hi. Sure With you, that, I'm saying good night. Are you going? Yeah. Oh, good, good night. night. Good night. Okay. She's going. She made my life a living hell tonight. Look who's talking. I did such a nice thing. Look at that. <laughs> Doesn't that you. look I like your computer? You a dozen times. Doesn't that look like your computer I always thank looked? You. Yes, thank you. What I did is I took, uh, I took uh, her uh, backup and uh, I took her backup and, and just put it on a new machine uh, and it's perfect you know just like she always uses it you know 
I, iCloud backup? No, uh, you know, hard drive backup. A, uh, you know, a time back, machine. Back, yeah, backs it up every uh, what, every hour or something, so that uh, the you know it's backed up to the way it was just you know when I turned the thing off and then installed this thing. So. Uh, I think she was really mad, speaking Alex. Of, huh? Speaking of Apple, I got my new phone today. Oh yeah, congratulations! How do you yeah. like it? Oh, it's huge. I do like it. Is that um, the, is that the large one or the small? No, this is me. this is the uh, the S. It's and is one much bigger. bigger. It's huge. There's one bigger. It was too big, <clears throat> but wow. it is a good size. And it uh, the only thing that I'm really disappointed about because the main reason why I got this phone was because it supports an eSIM where you can put two lines yeah so I spent an hour on the phone today with Apple I set it up real quick got it all done synced my Apple watch then I called Apple and we spent an hour on the phone with a guy who was like gee you're the first one to call to set this up I'm not sure I know how to do it and it took us an hour to figure out that he said you'd have to call your carrier so then I got on the phone with AT&T for an, a little over an hour and we disabled my work phone and we ported the number over to this got the what we thought we had the e-sim going and all that and then he tried to call it and it went straight to voicemail and then he called his manager who called the next manager who then called apple management turns out the feature is not released yet oh jesus oh wow after all that <laughs> imagine Jeez. that oh i spent about three and a half hours on the phone today just trying to do that and the feature is going to be out in October now, they say. The reviews are out now that the, the phones are out there and the watch is out there. And you know what they've been saying? That, yeah, the phones are nice. Okay, but they say the watch is sensational. Mm. The new watch. Uh, but uh, you can't get them. I mean, I've, I went online. Now, if I want to buy it and then go down to the store and get it, it's not available. Yeah, it's delayed. Yeah, I mean, mm. well, you know what happened today? We, we ordered mm. this. Uh, oh, hey, would you bring my phone in to me? Hello. It's probably in there somewhere. Hi. Hello. Oh, uh, <laughs> hello. Um, um, uh, we got this Mac Mini, and it had to be ordered like a couple of weeks ago. When we went to the Apple store, about a week ago, we went to the Apple store, and they, you know, ordered it for us because we wanted special stuff. We couldn't buy something that was in the store. And uh, we, you, you know, uh, you, uh, thank you, dear. I love you. I, I love you. <laughs> Not anymore. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You gonna text her? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna call her. Here we go. She's not answering. One ringy dingy. I wanted to just say I love you. Okay, she loves me too, everybody. Mark that down, will you? Okay, love you, bye. Okay. Uh, I also have the walkie-talkie feature on the phone. I should have used that on the watch. I should have used that. You know, your watch now has a walkie-talkie feature. Do you know that? Uh, no, I didn't. You know, Rob, how did you uh, Did you upgrade to the latest OS? Uh, it's not out yet. Yes, it is. The what, 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 the when did it come out? The latest oh. operating system came out Thursday. Uh, the la of what? The latest operating system of the watch? Yes. Well, I, I'm yeah. Let me check again. Yeah, well, oh, yeah. No, that wasn't yeah. it. Because today I had a, you know, when you when you unpair and repair the phone, yeah. it's just like you're setting it up from scratch again. So let me see. Maybe it is. Yeah, uh, but but anyway, yeah, then one of the new features is, is walkie-talkie, and it, it you just push talk. You, put, have, you have it linked to somebody. Like I have mine to Marjorie, right? And I go... Push talk, and I go. Hello, Marjorie, are you there? And if what she, version? What uh, version is it? Do you know? Because uh, the one I have, it says my watch is up to date 4.3.2. Well, uh, maybe that 4.3.2. Wait a minute. Let me I know. thought I thought uh, I thought the next version was five. Apple uh, Alex's watch. Uh, uh, no, it, it looks like. Um, Alex's watch. It doesn't. I don't know, where does it say that? I have no idea. Under under you go to um, general, and then software update. Oh, general, and then software update. Okay, it'll just say you already have the latest. Yeah. Yeah, uh, mine says four dot three dot two. Well, well, watch five o dot five o. Your software is up to date. Huh? Why can't I? Uh, maybe maybe the watch one can't get the updated no, software. Uh, mine, mine, I think, is a watch one. 
It's a, right. really it's one. It might be a two. Might be a two. Yeah, how mine you, is how a do one. You know? I have no idea. Are, it's a good question. It's a one or a two. Yeah, you can tell with the new watches because they're bigger. Yes. Uh, yeah. But uh, I want that new watch. I really do. I, I, they uh, people have just been saying the the volume on it is forty percent louder, so you don't have to like go like this to hear somebody. You can hold it like mm. this and talk to them. Uh, and uh, you know, so I'm getting. I want to get the cellular, but it doesn't look like I'm going to get it anytime soon. Because if I want to, before you know it, we'll have Dick Tracy well, watch. Well, anyway, we ordered this Mac Mini a week ago, right? And they said it'd take me a couple of weeks to get here, but it got here today, right? But they said it will be. It's coming by FedEx by 4:30, and 4:30 mm -hmm. comes and goes. I got up at nine o'clock this morning just so I wouldn't miss them because we don't have a doorman or anything like that. And and you know these kind guys. Of building if, you live in it, huh? I'm kind of building you live. I'm in living in a Fakakta building with a bunch of Brooklyn landlords. Okay, so anyway, uh, I get up at nine. It's already now. It's four thirty. It hasn't come yet. And all of a sudden, it says you know where it said deli will be delivered by four thirty. They that disappeared from the from the manifest, right? <laughs> so then I call them and they say, oh, it's all late today. I said, why? Well, because they're being slowed down. I said, by what? And they said, the new Apple products. It seems as though everybody who ordered and got in on time to get them today, yep. we're getting them today. And I talked to the FedEx guy, he says, yeah, I delivered about 20 of them today. Yeah, that's what the UPS guy told me. He, he came at 1030 this morning yeah. and he said, he, I came to the door, I was still in my pajamas and he said, he goes, you don't want to miss this. He goes, I've got a ton of them to deliver today. Hmm. Well, you know something? I, I think that um, it doesn't bother me that much, uh, you know, that I have to wait for it. It would be nice to have the watch right now and play with it. But I can wait a month, you know. If I want to order it online, I can get it in a month. But I'd rather go down to the store and pick it up. Yes, Charlene. Oh, First, I want to say I'm glad you're back because you weren't around for a while, Rob. <laughs> I like when you update, you know, the iOSs on the Apple. Because one time you said it, and you know, I had an update. But uh, anyway, how much was it, Rob? Is it like more than a thousand? No, it was nine ninety nine. I got the oh. sixty four gig. Yeah. Oh, okay. um, it, the, I got the cheapest one, the sixty four gig, because my other phone was a thirty two gig, and I wasn't anywhere near filling that up. So well, I got I got I, a, I got a two fifty six when I bought my. Oh, X. Was and it, it was eleven hundred. You know. You know, Rob, I've got. I loved it when you said you have the uh, two um, CPAPs in your closet. Because <laughs> yeah. you know, that was the night that everybody was talking about stuff I related to. They want me to go back on that, and I'm not doing it. I hate that CPAP thing. I, it Sorry. might be the one that you have, because I love mine. I'd like to sell those machines. It's easy. Mm -hmm. I, I go on Craigslist. Yeah. Well. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Why, don't, why don't you wear it some night on the show? Uh, I think like I did thing. that once. I did that once. I put my mask yes, on. You did. on yes, yeah. you did. I remember when you did. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> it was funny and crazy. It was a Friday night show and tell. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but oh, By uh, the way, Rob, uh, Charlene said a little bit earlier that that was the biggest one she's ever seen. Uh, don't all the girls tell us that? What, the phone? No, the no. CPAP machine. <laughs> yeah, the phone. So anyway, so I just spent uh, I spent a couple of hours, you know, taking all the stuff from uh, from her old machine and making this machine just like her old machine because if it didn't have it just like it was on the old machine, she would go crazy, right? So, you know. Do you have... Do you have to have more, uh, more than one time machine if you have more than one computer? Is there? Yeah, you need yeah, a, but uh, you, so you need one for each computer. You don't need a time machine. You just go get a hard drive. Time machine makes uh, it easier, you know, right? You know what because you can get? You can get one. Time of, machine automates it. Yeah, that's all it does. But like for instance, you just get a regular old. One yeah, of these. but don't you lose your programs? You have to no, reinstall the no, programs and no, stuff. No. 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 No, this does starts doing a backup onto this drive, and they can do it on the small ones. They can do it on the big ones. It's better if you do it on the small ones because they take up less room. And uh, every hour or so, it goes in and backs up the most recent one. Uh, and it's yeah. using the it's using the Apple native backup software to do that. Uh, yeah, yeah. 
uh, I mean, if you want to, somebody like Seagate, if you buy one of their drives, has like a program of theirs you can use. But I like the I like the Apple version, mainly because it uh, it 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 works very well, and it's never yeah, it's failed. native to the operating. System. You know, and you probably are never going to need your backup. You're probably never, if or if ever. Uh, but well, you just but when you, you just when, the one time machine. you do, you're glad you got it. Right. You know. And and also with the time machine with their time machine, you can go back and look at the way the machine was say a month ago, and find right. a program you don't have on your computer anymore and reinstall it. Mm. You know, so uh, it, it, it's 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 pretty good. Or you lost a picture, or you I lost a, a video show that I did I couldn't find, but I had it on the computer back then. Or you uh, you had a video file that you were editing and you corrupted it or somehow or you ruined the original and you want to go back yeah. to the original version. Yeah, you can, and you, so you can roll back any any file that you want to roll back. Right. You know, so because what comes up is like uh, uh, your your main screen, and then uh, you can go to the date you want, and then you go to the <laughs> file you want, and it's really it's very easy, but and, but. But all I'm saying is, since a, since a little small drive like that will cost you about 90 bucks uh, for four, ke four uh, t terabytes, which is more than enough for most people's use. Uh, and, and as it goes on, by the way, as it fills up, it, once it starts filling up, it then starts dropping everything that's o at the very end off so that you never really are in a situation where it goes, sorry, you need another backup drive. Right. But it, it, it I, I, I back up the data, but I don't back up the programs. Why would you? The uh, programs be, you could always download. But what happens, yeah. when you do a full backup, like I did a full backup on her machine, now that I reloaded that full backup into her machine, it, the whole thing works just like it was when she had it on the other machine. So all the programs are reinstalled, all the applications are reinstalled, mm -hmm. all her, you know, Data is reinstalled, uh, and it's fine. And come Monday, I'm going to have to update to the newest OS on that damn thing. So is you it know, Monday it's coming out Monday. Monday, yeah, yeah. It won't work on my Mac Pro because the cutoff date is that machine, right? Uh, but uh, I've got now three mini Mac Minis, and they can all be upgraded. But I don't want to upgrade this one, and I'll tell you why. Because Apple, in their usual fashion, is making it so that if you update to the newest uh, version of their operating system, uh, and you're sh and you're using a program that's 32-bit, it won't run. Yeah. So yeah, I have programs here it. like Audacity, which I know you use, right? Yeah. Uh, which is 32-bit. They haven't come up with a 64-bit yet. Uh, I have a couple other programs that I use all the time, like I use a NiceCast for this program. And there's another program that I can use now if I want to, but I like NiceCast better. But that thing's 32-bit, so I'm glad that this machine isn't going to be able to be converted mm -hmm. because a lot of the things I do use are, are not usable. Under you know That's what Mac does. And then they, they do the bullshit thing of going, and you can't use it on an older machine. Well, mm -hmm. well so Windows does I, that too. I have a 2010 laptop that I use for the sound effects and, and so forth. Now, uh, you're saying that probably on the next update, that's going to be a brick? Uh, or I won't be able to use it with no, the uh, no, you won't be able new to, assist? It, you probably won't be able to. Up, if, what year is it? 2010. What's, uh, what's, what's, what's the date that they have on the actual program? If you uh, go to it says it says mid 2010 mid 2010 it might still be able to be upgraded but if it isn't that doesn't matter you know you, you still will always be able to upgrade to uh, high Sierra you'll always be able to reinstall high Sierra they'll let right. you do well, that. that's what I'm running now on that yeah uh, and I gather uh, I, I, I probably run in the same yeah thing. they don't they, I have like uh, snow leopard on another machine because it's so old that it won't let you go back after go, let you go after Snow Leopard, and I can still go out and find a copy of Snow Leopard and install it. You know, so. Yeah. Um, but but uh, Apple does these things, and I think they're. You know, do you say Windows does the same thing? Oh, absolutely. That you can't run 32-bit programs on Windows anymore. 
Really? No, wait a minute. Yeah, they're all 64-bit now. No, you know something? I think you're wrong. Because I read the oh, other you know, day. Oh, you know, I am wrong because yeah. I run Audacity on my 64-bit I Windows 10. I can run Toolbox Pro 2.1 on uh, Windows 10, and that's 32-bit. Yeah, yeah. Why do, why do you use? Uh, uh, cool uh, Edit. I still use Cool Edit. Cool Edit Pro 2, version 2, Cool yeah. Edit Professional version 2.1. Mm -hmm. The predecessor to Adobe Audition. You know, there's, no, there's no reason why they can't make 32-bit legacy programs run indefinitely on whatever new program they have. They just have to accommodate it. But it's just, it's just that Apple gets pissy about this. Well, you, you could know. probably make it work yourself. All you have to do is know how to program a little bit, and you could probably because all it is, it's an emulation. You're emulating 32-bit. And you should be able to do that if you know a little bit about Linux or Unix. I think in a Mac, really, it's Unix. I know a lot about Unix. I'm Sorry, one of them. No. Online will teach you how to step by step. And What's some, that? You can you, if, you, you, you Google you it. Have no patience to do it you say you can Google it, and somebody yeah. out from Hack Alex, will, Alex, he said uh, Unix, Unix, not a Unix. Yeah, I know. Oh, I, oh, okay. I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, how many times do we have to tell you stop talking about your sex life? No one wants to hear yeah. that. Hey, that would be, that would be an improvement. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you said it, not me. That's true. So, but but uh, um, you know, I mean, it, it it's uh, it, it's kind of uh, you know planned obsolescence that they don't have to do. You know, uh, they they the reason my machine won't be able to install the new one is because there's some program now that you have to have. A chip you have to have in your machine in order for their new OS to work. See, part of the problem is not that they don't want to. It becomes, and we go through this at my company as well. You, after a while, it becomes too cumbersome because if you're going to say it works, then you've got to make it work. And so, how far back can you go? You're doing R and D to move forward. There's only so much backward compatible that you want to put money into. Okay. So it becomes a lot about that. And remember, on a grander scale, it's not just this one program or whatever. They, they, at some point, they just need to let go and move forward. Something well, you let, just built a lot. So. Let's talk about the douchebags at Skype. Okay. <laughs> There's an example of, of upgrading uh, where the upgrade is worse than the thing they had all along. And that they don't want to offer people the ability to use Skype Classic if they want to. You can get Skype Classic, and it will work. But you know, you uh, you you know, you they 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 are, they're not going to support it. You know, so they're really they're assholes. You know, well, they leave you alone if you're on a Mac. And, 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 and what do you mean? They, yeah, they have left us alone on the Mac. You can yeah. use both. I, I have both versions of Skype installed on both machines. You can do that, you know. Hmm. Well, when I called you on the phone on Skype, uh, that was the new version. I guess I downloaded it, and it was the new version, and I still have the classic one on the desktop. Well, what you do, folks, if you want to use the old classic, but you want to have the new Skype as well, just download the, the, uh, the uh, new Skype, load it in, then... Go in and re find yourself classic. You can find Skype classic online. There are several places where they legacy them. And install it. And at some point it's going to say, well, you already have Skype running on here. Do you want to install this as well? And you go, yes. And then it puts it on as Skype 2. Okay. Oh. And then you can use both uh, anyone you want to. The reason I want both is because I keep playing around with Skype the newer Skype to see if it works at all and I got news for you it sucks it sucks you know it, it, oh it's more intuitive bullshit you know and that's all when you hear that word like it's more intuitive you got to think about that as into who yeah to, uh, it's, it's, all, it's it's not a, a hard value it's a subjective value well it, it's, more it's more intuitive Rob. if you only yeah. have four callers well, I was going to say, Rob, it could, to who is it intuitive to? Or maybe somebody who's dyslexic with cerebral palsy and a, <laughs> right. and cross-eyed. Who the fuck knows? Well, you know, I mean, I know how to use uh, Skype, and uh, it's easy. It's a very simple program. And then I use the new one, and I go, I can't find anything. Well, how's that intuitive? Intuitive means that you could start the program and know exactly where everything <coughs> is the minute you go there. Right. 
And, with the uh, old and it makes sense when, oh, it's going to be under this menu, but it's not. Yeah. yeah. Not intuitive. But anyway, so uh, we're losing listeners, and I think they don't like Tech Talk. So fuck them. <laughs> fuck them. They're going like, to like the new Skype even less when it's less intuitive to them than what they've been using. Yeah, so. well, you know, I mean, I like this Skype because look, folks, how it, how it uh, p- puts things on my screen. You know, it's very mm-hmm. nice. It's very pretty. It, it's very organized. But with the other one, it'll only they put four they people. They can't navigate the new Skype, though, in six months. If the listeners who are dropping off like flies now can't in six months navigate the new Skype in the amount of time it would take for them to jerk off and bust a nut, yeah. then we're right. all fucked. Shit out of luck. Right, right. right. That's, uh, nope. that, that's Brian's way of putting things. He's a special child, and you have to understand the language he speaks. So, you know, those, those assholes at Skype, those assholes at Microsoft or Apple, any of those fucking tech companies, they would not want me as a, as a product tester. They, 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 would either, they would either, you know, burn me an effigy or I would burn them an effigy. How many, how many here have, have Macs who are on the show tonight? I do. Yeah, Tony does. And how many have the rest have Windows? Um, I have both. I use, to do this oh, I show, I'm actually using Windows, not Skype. And one of the reasons I'm using Windows is because I, I was not using Windows for a long time. I used nothing but Mac. Oh, I wouldn't even touch uh, a, a, a PC, right? And then all of a sudden, a girlfriend comes home with a old P, with a PC they no longer needed in their office. So I tried it, and now it's doing this show. And I got to tell you, I don't think Windows 10 is that bad. I think Windows 10 is pretty good. Not bad. Yeah. It's yeah. just that when you buy, for me anyway, if I'm going to buy a machine, yeah, you, you buy it's 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 worse than buying a car when you buy a PC. You buy it, you take it out, and then you can't. It's worthless. I've got this. I've got this MacBook Pro that I'm using here that I've had. It's a 2015. It it I could still sell it for a lot of money. It's worth something. And when I have a problem, I could. Go, I mean, I've had iPhone after iPhone problem. I'm going to get rid. I'm going to sell two phones now: an iPhone six and an iPhone seven. Both of them are only about three months old because I had a battery problem. I took it to the store. I was going to pay that low price for the battery replacement on both phones. They told me, you know, we really can't replace it. We're going to give you another phone, and they give you a brand new refurbished phone. Yeah. And it's like for for that twenty nine dollar charge, I did it on three phones: my wife's, mine, and my business phone. Well, I bought it. You I, cannot yeah. beat Mac. I'm I, bu- sorry. I bought a Mac Mini from from Phil, and then I blew it out. And I took it in, and they said it needs a new logic board. So I said, oh, okay, fine. So they put in the new logic board. It cost me like three hundred sixty bucks. And I bring it home, and I notice that the uh, the, the hard drive isn't working. So I take it back in. And uh, I come back the next day when they say it's ready. And I said, uh, they said, oh, you need a new hard drive. And I went, well, how much is that? And they said, well, it would be $200, as it says here. But for you, it's free because we have what we call a uh, uh, some program where if they don't repair it the first time and it needs something else because they overlooked it, they pay the price on it. See that? So I basically, what I basically have is I do not have the same Mac Mini that I bought from Phil. I mean, it got a new logic but board, same, which is everything. Same speed, same yeah, everything. Uh, memory. Everything. Uh, yeah. 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 yeah, Alex and Phil, it's like a Franken mini. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but Mother I mean, it, it, because all the, all it really is in there is the logic board and the hard drive. That's it. And and now you got a warranty. It's not very long, probably, but, you know, I'm sure days. they give you a warranty for the work. 90 days. Yeah. I, well, that's, you know, it's better than I gave you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, 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 quite a few things, uh, uh, I- interesting developments today. I'm sure Phil would like to bring them up because he would like to gloat, although we'll take him to task for it. Phil, it's all yours. Well, uh, I was, I've was i been watching the news, and I didn't hear anything uh, extra special. Uh, I, all I heard was them getting on Trump for tweeting about... Uh, uh, some issue uh, with the gal that wants to testify against. Oh yeah, uh, he said, uh, "Why didn't she go to the police uh, 35 right. years ago?" And the answer people is didn't. because people, people didn't. didn't. See, now even you say that, okay? 
Right. Uh, you know. Yeah, I, 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 I didn't get that one. Uh, you know, from Trump. Women, right? I mean, women didn't because they didn't want to. They just didn't want to. They didn't want to have to constantly relive the thing and then be berated by the police department or the FBI or whoever for their. They, you know. they don't. They don't want to go through what this woman's going through right now. Right. Exactly. So, but I think I think it's fair, uh, fair turnabout because if Republicans get death threats and can't eat at a restaurant, you know, uh, look what this society has become. And uh, you know, just because you have a dissenting opinion, it is terrible. We become very uncivil. Why do you think we're? Why do you think we're uncivil, Phil? Uh, Because of Facebook. Uh, I'd say it's because of Trump. No, no. no. Oh, here's why. Here's why. Here's that. what I'm going to tell you. Years ago, I interviewed the guy who wrote the Elephant Man, that. who wrote the Elephant Man, who was an anthropologist. I'm trying to remember his name right now. And I, I said, uh, how do we get our, uh, our, our mores and our uh, way of thinking and so on? You know, the kind of things, the way we treat other people and so on, and our fashions and so on. They said. Always from royalty. In the old days it was from royalty. If royalty started wearing a ruffled shirt, everybody else wore a ruffled shirt. And he said, same thing is true just for politicians. Today, politicians, if they have a certain, engender a certain immoral quality, that immorality will start running rampant throughout the country. I think it's the 24-hour news cycle. I think it's 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 our uh, politicians and it's, and it's Donald Trump. Media. Social media, social media. Yeah, it's social media. Yeah. Uh, I think it's a process Patrick. that's been apparent in the Patrick. last 40 Patrick. years. Patrick, uh, including social media, including the 24-hour news cycle, including the immoralities committed yeah. by Pat- those Patrick. Republicans like Reagan, but also Democrats like Clinton. Patrick, so, yeah, I, I I more or less agree with Phil. Patrick, I believe Rob does than I do with you, Alex. Patrick. I was just waiting for Brian to finish out. Well, you could have waited a year for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, excuse yeah, hey, me for being Hey, for, what was for, so for bad? He was agreeing with me. <laughs> he I, don't, I don't like talking over somebody because nobody in the audience can hear what the fuck being said down. I hear yeah. that when I listen to you guys. So, anyway, um, I think back to when road rage started in the 80s and the 90s and you started hearing about road rage and that never was something that was even infrequent previous oh, and no. all of a sudden people start getting violent over nothing and then social media I think is a big part of what's happening I don't think Trump has anything to do with it I think he's he's adding be part of what there, but he didn't start it. It started way before. I mean, Facebook had been around, and I've been berated on Facebook before Trump even for the glimmer in the Republican Party's eye. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll tell you though. I'll tell you something. Uh, I uh, remember this girl that would call the show occasionally, a woman named Kathleen, who I used to call Schmoody. She and I had a little thing we liked to do, and that was engender road rage in others. <laughs> well, we talking mean, about road rage. Wait, can, I fin- of, can, I, of, can I finish the thought? Because people are probably wondering what I meant by that. Uh, no. Oh, okay. Well, then go ahead, Phil. What did you mean, no, Alex? No. What did you oh, mean? Go ahead. No, go ahead, Phil. I was going to say I'm sure whatever that... he had to say was so fucking important. That... Go ahead. Oh, fuck you, too. <laughs> finish your fucking thought before no, you get I'm too old to remember my... it. I... Oh, really? <laughs> Bingo! Zoom! Zoom! Pow! <laughs> One of these days, Alice. One of these yeah. days. <laughs> Hope you packed extra lube, Phil. You're about to get. No, we were driving. Down, we were driving down the street one day, uh, down the highway, in Marin County, and, and this guy uh, like um, honks his horn at us or something because he wanted us to move away or around. He wanted to get around us and whatever. So we started giving him the finger and doing all kind of things to induce road rage in him. And, and finally, he's giving us the finger back, and then I, fuck, I go, pull over, pull over, right? Pull over. We'll have it out on the side of the road. Pull over. And he pulls over, once. and we go right by him. <laughs> when I was a kid. He loved doing I, that. 
What? There was this guy. I was on Route 9 in New York, and uh, I, I had an M, a 1960 MGA. Yeah. And I'm driving down uh, the, the highway, and this guy is 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 just going for it. And he he's in a little BMW 2002. So, you know, we're giving each other the finger, and I give him the pull over. And he pulls over. I pull over and up in front of him. He gets out of the car. He's about nine feet tall. Oh, boy. <laughs> I took off. <laughs> I, had a friend, I had a friend. I went over his house one day. We were, I was a teenager. And he had this big Electra 225 Buick. Remember those? Yeah, yeah. So I, pull, I walk up to his house, and there's a dent in the front fender of the car. And I was like, dude, what happened to your car? He goes, oh. and this was a wise ass. This is a guy who's always just, you know, mouthing off. Well, he mouthed off to somebody who pulled him out of the car. He said, the guy dented my, that used my head to make that dent. <laughs> yeah, you got to be I careful with that. Guy Charlene's got her hand up. was two linebackers. Charlene? <laughs> oh, one. <laughs> Charlene. Oh, oh. Mine's not even that long story. No, I had a thing happen tonight. Um. You know, it was dark out, and I'm driving home on a back road, you know, here in Jersey. Yeah. <clears throat> and I have a guy behind me, like, flashing his headlights. So I figure, oh, my God, I'm doing 45 on a 50. So this guy is, like, mad because I'm going too Gross. slow. So then I'm driving some more, and another guy is, like, flashing his lights and everything. So I said, I don't know what this is now. Well, I got mad. I, like, pulled over. And the guy is, like, pulling over next to me, and I'm like, oh, my God, what's he going to do to me? I don't know this guy. I'm like, I'm getting scared. Should I lock my door? So I roll down my window, and the guy says, "You don't have any brake lights. You don't have any lights on." <laughs> that wow. was what was wrong with me. That my headlights weren't on. It's like an auto button that I didn't turn on. Wow. So that was my story. I thought it was funny though, because I didn't know what he was doing. When I pulled over, he pulls over next to me. I said, "I can't get rid of this guy. What's he want?" <laughs> when people don't have their lights on and it's and it's dusk. Uh, that's an, that's a probable cause to pull you over as a drunk driver. Uh, oh, really? Well, I said to the guy, well, thank you. If a cop would have gotten me, I would have been in trouble, right? No, they, why is that probable would've, cause would've for being a drunk driver? I know, hmm? filled with that cop it is, stuff. It is, because it's, yeah, it's, it's, filled common, with the cop stuff. it's common that drunks forget to turn on their lights, and it, and it can be used in court to establish probable cause for the stop. But, Without a breath. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, because you have to give a reason why you stopped the car. You can't just right. say I stopped it because the guy. Looked. I thought she was drunk because yeah. her lights were off. <laughs> and uh, uh, I was going to say before uh, you you were uh, testing your uh, antidepressant on me. Uh, I was I was going to say <laughs> that I, I watched this movie called L.A. Story uh, with Steve uh, well, Steve Martin. I forget the comedian's name. Steve but, Martin. Uh, Steve Martin. Very very good movie. And uh, and that had a road and it was in the 80s, I think, and it had the road rage incident, uh, which I, I, I really like that incident. And he says, you know, he pulls out his gun and he starts shooting at people on the L.A. freeways. And he says it's a spring rite of passage. <laughs> you know, <laughs> is that the one with Sarah Jessica Parker? I don't remember. Really yeah, she's in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, um, but anyway, no, you know, I, when I said to you, Phil, uh, it's probably something you want to talk about. You didn't hear the big story. No, I didn't. Uh, or maybe remind me because maybe I heard it and didn't think it was about so About Rosenstein? Uh, oh, yeah, he's part of the swamp. No, no, uh, no, did, no. He said that uh, he he should have uh, recorded or uh, and used the 25th Amendment to uh, to deal with Trump. And now he and that was uh, brought out by the New York Times. And yeah. now he's he's tra taken that back. And saying he, you know, he would never have said that. Well, no, what, they, what he, what they're basically saying is that he was always a very sarcastic guy, and this is probably a sarcastic comment he was making, right? And that he was given to that kind of thing, not giving an order. He didn't say, "Hey, let's go bug uh, Donald Trump, and then we'll get him on the Twenty Fifth Amendment." It was just, uh, it was meant as a joke, supposedly. Ah, but now I, I, you know, I, yeah. you know, the Trump is going to start using this as ammunition, and you know where, of course, the story came from: the wow. New York New Times. York Times. So right. I want to see how he's going to parse uh, 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 telling a story about how Rosenstein was out to get him when he got it from the New York Times, that failing New York Times that's fake news. How he is he going to? How's he going to? How's he going to? You know why he doesn't have to? Because they're doing it for him. <laughs> you know, they are. He, he, and, if he's smart, yeah. he, he just sit back and laugh. Yeah. But uh, anyway, uh, uh, We'll have to see. Big if. 
you know, uh, I, I have, I, I'm going to tell you something, Phil, and you, you can take this to the bank, okay? Yeah. Um, the Democrats are going to prevail come this fall. They're yes. going to prevail to the tune of upwards to 50 seats in the House. Wow. We'll see. Hmm? We will right. see. No, yeah, I, this is, it's going to happen. And CBS. what's going to be what's going to be the side benefit of getting those 50 seats is a little thing called impeachment. Uh, I doubt I it. So. He's, he's not impeachable. There's nothing he's done. To, I don't think so. I think he. We may find. We don't know what he's done or hasn't done. And, that was impeachable. You know. Here's, and you guys also said the poll said there's no way he's going to get 270. And uh, just like he said tonight in Missouri, uh, he says. You know, they said Trump couldn't win. As soon as they pull, uh, closed the poll in Texas, boom, Trump took Texas. Yeah, but uh, yeah. this is a different, uh, as, uh, a different animal here. Uh, I For think, impeachment, you need two-thirds of the Senate. Well, but wait a minute. Hold on a second. Uh, to convict. Uh, yeah, no, right. to convict. <laughs> well, what good is impeachment? To impeach. The impeachment takes place in the, in the Congress. Uh, and right. if you have a majority there, they can get the impeachment. Okay. Right. So, then they send know, it over to them. the Senate, and if he is found guilty of the crimes to which he's been impeached, then right. he can be thrown out of office. But that won't happen well, right. unless they uh, unless they have two thirds majority in the Senate, which they don't have. So yes. why do that? Why well, go through all that? Here, here's what I'm here, here's that. what I'm saying is that uh, uh, it's not going to be a, a a wonderful day for Donald Trump if. There are 50 new Democrats in the Congress. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, the guy, I don't remember his name. He was on CBS this, uh, this morning and this afternoon. And what he said was is he doesn't think that they're going to lose any seats in the House or the Senate. And uh, well, so so he so some nutcase went on television and said they weren't going to lose well, it's, anybody. It's, well, it's, uh, it's, he's he was a one of their guys. Yeah. Uh, one of the lefty guys. Well, I mean, uh, I I think we're going to see uh, we're going to see a blue wave, much more than anybody expected. Uh, yeah, they're going to wave at the blue guys and the no, know, because you got to remember they, something, Phil. You got to remember something, Phil. These are local races. These are these are in state races. If if we had it didn't have an electoral college, Hillary would be president today. Okay, and so you have to take into account that the there there is a large blue group in this country. Uh, uh, that that can probably make life miserable for Mr. Trump and women. Is, is that like saying that if the uh, if the Queen had balls, she'd be king? Well, I mean, you know, what woman is going to vote for Donald Trump? Come on, there's plenty plenty of women that'll vote no, for Donald no, Trump. No, no, plenty. quite a few women I know who would vote for, for him. Yeah, they're so. vo then they're voting yeah. against their own vaginas. First Patrick, Matt, and well, then <laughs> then uh, then Brian. It's That's the economy. A good one, Alex. I like that. <laughs> yes, Patrick. You had your hand up. <laughs> Patrick, can you hear me? Yeah, I'm. Um, I'm just wondering, with the impeachment, it's going to get as far as it did with Clinton, yeah. and that what that was a fucking waste of time, and it was a waste of of Money. resources yeah. and things that you know. And and here's the thing, if the left and the Democrat are so hellbent on making this country better than what uh, Trump is doing. Mm -hmm. They would be better spent trying to legislate things yes. rather than wasting their yeah, fucking well, time tit for tat. You know, the Republicans did this well, okay, for Clinton. Okay, but let me, let, let, fuck him. Let me, let me, and then still going to be nowhere with legislation and you're still going to have all the same bullshit and everybody's still going to be bitching and nobody's going to have the, the foresight to go you know or the hindsight yeah we fucked up we spent two years impeaching him and got nothing done and then what happens in two years after that trump it's gets reelected and then you guys are going to get jack well, shit done okay. again. Let me anyway. let, let me just uh, uh, say something about this, uh, and then we'll go to Brian. Uh, I, I always felt where the Clinton thing was concerned that it was a waste of America's time and a waste of America's money. And I feel the same way this way. I think that impeaching Donald Trump would be a big waste of time. 
uh, you maybe you want to slow them down, but there are other ways of slowing them down because if you've got a majority in Congress, you're going to be able to right. slow them down anyway. Okay, exactly. so don't impeach him; just make him neuter him. Right. You know, and, and what about working with him? Uh, why Why should we work with him? He doesn't know what he's doing. Yes. Yeah, so hey, if they bring <laughs> legislation, if they bring legislation to him, maybe he'll sign it, and maybe he won't. You know, uh, and if the it, it, queen had balls. Yeah, if the queen had balls. Yes, uh, 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 Brian was next, and then Patrick. Well, the, yeah. Anyway, uh, Patrick took some of my thunder away. That it's okay because uh, he articulated it better than I could. But I'd also say that uh, as far as um, you know, making predictions. One, I never, I didn't start listening to this program until after, uh, until February of 2017, after Trump was elected and yeah. inaugurated. Yeah. So I wasn't part of that group, Bill, that uh, predicted. And even if I were in that group, I wouldn't be. I'd be saying then what as I'm saying now. I'm a firm believer that you don't dance on the motherfucker's grave until you're sure the motherfucker is dead. Yeah. And, <laughs> The day after the election is when I will uh, know for sure whether or not we do or do not have a blue wave. Okay. Um, secondly, I would not, um, if the Democrats uh, take control, take a sizable control of the Senate as they do of the House, if Alex's prediction comes true, hypothetically speaking, if they convict him on, any, on on a lot of the impeachable offenses that he commits, it may come back to bite them on the ass, being the corporatic cocksuckers that they are, because they're probably guilty of doing the same things that he is. Only difference is they're doing it in more of a clandestine fashion, like Lucky Luciano, whereas uh, 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 douchebag Donald is more the John Gotti and does it does does it out in your face. Uh, Patrick, and then Vernon. Yeah, I mean, this is for Phil. So the reason they won't work with Donald Trump is because our side made it a point not to work with Obama. It tit for tat. Yes. And yeah. Yeah. Democrats are going to be just as stupid as we were with <laughs> Obama. And it and, and it, get, it makes no sense. Get rid of them all, and I don't care whether it's the Democrats that take over or the Republicans. Clean the swamp. Yeah. Term limits. You can't, you can't do it. Term limits. Hey, listen, I love the swamp. Pogo, my favorite cartoon character when I was a kid, was in the swamp. Right, Jeff? Yeah. Uh, that was before TV. Yeah. Uh, your <laughs> mic is off, Jeff. So you remember Pogo? Sure, I remember him, but I wasn't a big fan. Uh, I, I wasn't either, but I just used it for the joke. Oh. But it was, uh, you know, everybody's going, Pogo, Swamp? What's the yeah, joke? I don't understand who Pogo was. Yes, Vernon. I think if the Democrats are smart, rather than going after impeaching Trump, they would go after all these other criminals in his organization, such as the Secretary of Commerce, uh, such as uh, the Secretary of Agriculture, such as the Secretary of Education, you know, they can go after those people and really drain the swamp because those people are corrupt. And they can go after them with all kinds of investigations, which will basically bring his administration to a standstill. And that would neuter him worse than even trying to do an impeachment. Uh, uh, let's see here. Uh, next was uh, Rob. If, if Kavanaugh is confirmed, the Democrats, and we don't get closure on this, we don't get any kind of investigation on this, the the Democrats will go after him. You know, I I was questioning this, and uh, and I'm I'm still kind of questioning uh, what I'm saying here. Uh, but uh, let me say that I think that Kavanaugh, in the end, is not going to be made Supreme Court wow. judge. Wow. That's bold. I think I, I there's think very I, little chance of that. I think I think uh, this woman will testify. Uh, I think it yeah. is going to throw the thing. It, it's going to throw the thing up in the air, questionably. I think even Trump isn't going to want to have to go through the process of trying to beat it. Okay, and I think it will then be until the fall before Trump is going to be able to nominate another Supreme Court justice. And by then, there'll be a, a, a Democratic Congress. And, and what the Democrats are trying to do, and let's face it, in many ways it is legitimate as a, ta as a tactic, 
is they're trying to run the clock so that they can get to those elections to see how they turn out because if they prevail, then there's no way they can pass any kind of uh, of, uh, of uh, right. uh, person no, they're, they're, unless, they're unless there's that a the consensus. Republicans will take the Senate uh, again. And if that's the case, that then may not get be. There's point. only a one, you know. There's only a one vote difference in the Senate. Yeah, but uh, that's true. <laughs> yeah, there's but only that's one all it vote. takes. Well, yeah, but what I'm saying is, all it takes is it didn't used to take. Uh, it's going to take. It wasn't that. until Mitch McConnell changed the nuclear option on judges. It yeah. used to take 60 votes to yes, confirm right. judges. Phil, you're right. you're was absolutely. it Mitch McConnell? Uh, somebody else changed the thing. To, no, to Mitch 50. McConnell did it when he became majority leader. Mitch McConnell changed those rules. I and I when did uh, I thought there was something that the Democrats did, but okay, yeah, I, maybe Mitch there McConnell was. There did was do it. Something. Yeah. There was something. Yeah. There was something that was tit for tat. Did it, and Mitch McConnell just went along with it. I talked about this weeks ago that when we start putting rules in place, even if they're not in stone, mm -hmm. we need to be careful. And if it's both sides, shit come back to bite you in the ass. Right. So when you start the majority, <clears throat> then you start fucking with the minority without giving them anywhere to breathe. Be careful when they become the majority. I mean, it, it's exactly like I just said a few minutes ago to Phil. The reason the Democrats won't work with Trump is because the Republicans wouldn't work with Obama. It tipped the tap. And that was, I forget who it was, uh, but it was a Democrat leader who set up that 60 vote majority. Um, well, McConnell just came in and said, all right, we'll keep it. Well, it Shit. may be it may be tit for tat, but I want my tat back. Okay. Might have been Harry Reid. Huh? How do you fix it? <laughs> well, how I think you, that was just on, that was just federal judges, though. That did not include the Supreme Court. Mitch McConnell changed it so that you only needed a majority for the Supreme Court. But it, it, it there. It would the door would open, and that's the problem. Precedent that, that both sides don't see is that when you open the door just a little bit, it might be to your advantage right now. But that door is open, and the other side will take advantage of it just as well. And this yep. is and to that very point, Patrick. That's what a lot of people say that Donald Trump is doing more damage to our systems and our government and our and our whole way of because you're 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 setting precedent. He's setting precedent for things that go far beyond the norms of what this country has been has been the the, the, the he uh, what's the, the bedrock of of the way our governments run. He's setting a lot of dangerous norms. I think it's good what he's doing. Oh, I think but you're great. Uh, but how did you, you hear that echo situation? when he said that that uh, the voice in the I wilderness? I think he. I think he's crazy. Big, I think you got a big set of balls to to think that way. To 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 just you're you're throwing all of the, what was great about this country out to get to the end game. Nothing well, what, matters the problem, but the end game, and that's problem, really no, scary. I don't believe that. Uh, you know, <laughs> the problem is all these lobbyists. The problem is we don't have a representative society mm. anymore or a representative government because it's being bought by those okay, that uh, okay. get that these guys reelected. That could be and you think that the Republicans, the Republicans aren't going to fix it, Phil? Well, that's one of the things that that's one of the things that Democrats can do if they take control of the House. They, won't, they can though. pass they legislation they that, that they gets rid of this revolving door. Where you go into government and then you become a lobbyist after you leave. Uh, first, Vern, first of all, first of all, let so Brian let Brian say what he's got to say, and then Patrick. Yes, Brian. Again, Vernon, second, the first, real quick. The, it won't, and I believe uh, Rob would would agree with this, as with Patrick. They won't be the Democrats won't because they're in bed with many of the same donors that the Republicans are. And secondly, to Alex regarding uh, um, uh, uh, this cocksucker Kavanaugh versus. Uh, <laughs> Uh, what the fuck is his name? Uh, Clarence Thomas. The advent and the promulgation of social media and the maturation, and I use that term in quotations, with of the 24 hours news cycle yeah. in the last some odd years since the case of Clarence Thomas aside, and unless you want to cite them as examples, how do you differentiate the outcome of Kavanaugh not being appointed in spite of scandal, allegations of scandal, versus Clarence Thomas? Having been uh, I, I think there's a, there. I think there's a factor here, Brian, 
that's in play. It's a social factor, and it's called the Me Too movement. And that every, nobody wants to get on the wrong side of that issue. And the fact is that if Kavanaugh even becomes somewhat tainted in all of this, everybody's going to back off real fast because they don't want to be it appear to be against the Me Too movement. So there's a social, there's a seed change socially in this country. Now, not that I agree with the whole Me Too thing, because I think a lot of it is a little dogmatic, but the fact of the matter is you've got to deal with that. And uh, 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 Kavanaugh is, if I can say, I'm, I hate to call him a victim because I don't like the guy, but he's a victim of two things. Number one, he's a uh, victim of probably the most uh, uh, decisive uh, midterms that we've had in my memory in my, in my lifetime coming up, okay? There's more at stake with these midterms than any other midterms. And also, he is also a, 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 a part of being swept up in this tide of Me Too as well. So between those two things, I don't think he's going to survive this because those guys have to go back to their constituency and say, I voted for this guy? No, you know. because you see what the situation is, is the Republicans want to use some sort of independent attorney to ask these questions so that they don't have 11 old white men uh, asking these questions. And, 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 yeah, but it's uh, an attorney appointed by them. In other words, they're chicken shit. Yeah, well, that, that attorney, no, it's not true. No, he, you're they right, Vernon. They are chicken shit because they don't want to ask questions of her and look bad to their constituency. No, that's well, exactly they learned, it. They learned from but Anita Hill, so they know. It's, it's, got a, it's, got a, it's got a bad stink to it, and, they, and that's why they don't want to be the ones that depose this woman. They would rather some independent attorney that is going to ask these questions. Maybe this attorney is going to be appointed by both sides. I don't, I don't know. Uh, now, her attorney doesn't want this. And also, her attorney doesn't want her to face the person she's accusing. Uh, and uh, I don't think that's fair either. If you accuse somebody, you well, should Well, I, I, I don't think that in this particular case, this is not a trial, okay? And it she's, is for him. She's, she, she, no, well, it's not. not a criminal trial. Listen, no, I know, but listen a trial Phil, Phil, Phil I said this last night. It's advised uh, and consent, Phil. I said this I last night. I agree with you last night. I either. said this last night, and I'll say it again. Uh, he wants to be a Supreme Court justice. Okay, he opened himself up to this whole process, whatever that takes and whatever things may be hurled at him, and he knows that. She doesn't, okay? She is really a party who quite innocently got dragged into this whole thing because somebody made her name known, and now she feels that she has to go before this committee and tell she, what happened. I thought she made her name known. No, she no. didn't. No. I thought she came forward. No, she didn't. No, she after had to. her name was leaked. Her after name her was name leaked. was leaked. Who, who leaked she it? All those death threats that were made against her and the fact that know know. Who, somebody in the Democratic Party leaked it. We know that. Really? Why would she want to put herself Maybe in that? Maybe on purpose? Position? Of course. Of course. Yeah. I mean, th th there's anything you can do to run out the clock on this guy, right. you're going to do. Right. It's, it's called it's just, as repre it's just as reprehensible as what the what – the, what the Republicans did to Merritt Garland. It's just as reprehensible. No. Nah. Oh, Merritt come on. Garland, as uh, Vern would say, still has a job. The still a judge. Well, that, you can say that about... But, a, a, no, that's, that's what Vern said last night. You can about say that, that yeah, about... But they, yeah, I said that about... I said that about Brett Kavanaugh. Poor right. Brett Kavanaugh. Boo-hoo-hoo. He's already got a lifetime appointment to the 3rd District in D.C. Okay, so oh. if he doesn't get confirmed to the Supreme Court, he just goes back to his old job. It's Mer a job Mer for life. Oh, right. Merrick does Garland's really, not unemployed. Does yeah, he but really the problem with Merrick Garland, though, Phil, and you got to acknowledge this, they'd never before allow, uh, uh, done this to a president where a vacancy occurred in the Supreme Court and they ran out the clock on him for almost a year, not even giving the guy he wanted on the court a hearing, let alone a confirmation vote. Well, that's because they could. Well, there that's you go. Because so they're somebody, dicks. Well, so it's politics. They all are. It's nasty politics yes. on right. both sides. Patrick. Yeah. It, it would the and I don't want to hear anybody bitch. It was the <laughs> Biden rule. Okay, and Dad. I know that wasn't an in stone thing, but there again, that door was open, and all you had to do was look back to history. And Joe Biden said there shouldn't be a Supreme Court appointment done at the end of a uh, president term. 
So the Republican picked it up and said, and okay. lied about it. Uh, who who was the head? Uh, by the way, and who was the head of the committee? They lied about it. What, who was the head of the committee? I believe when uh, when Anita Hill gave her testimony. Oh yeah. Uh, was it Orrin uh, Hatch? Was, no, I think it was Joe Biden. Or Joe he, Biden. Oh really? Yeah. And right. and and oh, he so you're, didn't. You're right. And, and right. he was he kind of you could say was part of the lynching party. You know, he yeah. it, because he says it was because That's he loaded. didn't step up and say something. But the fact was, he was part of that lynching party. So, you know, score, uh, uh, you know, uh, strike number two for Joe Biden. You know. But yes, Patrick, could continue. The other thing I wanted to say with regard to this woman, so they're asking for an additional day now for her to make a decision on whether or not she wants to testify. Look. If, she, if this really happened to her, she shouldn't need an extra day to prepare to testify what happened to her. To me, that's just bullshit. Well, he, 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 he's taken, he's taken he several wants, months to prepare to for this. parameters, Patrick. She wants to establish yeah. the you, you parameters gotta remember, to Patrick, make sure she gets a fair yeah. hearing. Patrick, right. here's the problem. She has to go there and in a few days, you know, do her thing, give her testimony. In the case of of, of uh, Kavanaugh, he's had months of preparation for this. He's at the White this. House every day. Yeah. Right now, he's at the White House every day. He's not prepared for this accusation. No, he's, right now, he, he's no, at the White House He had to prepare himself day. for the whole process. He better be. Kavanaugh if that's not a conflict seen, of interest, what is? Well, Kavanaugh has seen leaving the White House and entering the White House every day since this. He, at least he knows where the bathroom is. Well, at least he, yeah, he at least he knows where some woman's mouth is as well, because he can put his hand over it while she's screaming. You know, uh -huh. I mean, I mean, I, I, quite frankly, if it's true, uh, 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 I think it's true. I, I have well, no doubt it that it's true. I, I think it's true. And too, in but normal, not in, in a normal societal situation, I would say, 35 years ago, he was a kid. Uh, maybe you should give him a little leeway now that he's an older person and he's come to better, you know, a better mind about things. However, we're not just asking somebody to, you know, be a talk show host on a radio station or be a gas station attendant. We're going to give somebody a job for the rest of his life on the most powerful court in the country. And I think that has to come with it a lifetime of, of a moral decency. Well, that's, people said that he was morally decent uh, from no, high school no. on. Uh, uh, and then, and then, not according to John yeah, Perillis yeah. last night. John Perillis says, I know all kinds of jo uh, jack-offs like this. Who these, ca these Catholics. Yeah, and yeah, secondly, he, secondly, he can secondly, do anything. there have been yeah, a was, whole... Wait a minute, hold on a second. Phil, there's a whole raft of women who have come forward as well against him. You didn't... Right, but they didn't know him. They knew they, him. They, they, know, knew, they him. knew her, not him. They were supporting her. There was no contact with those women and and uh, and Kavanaugh. No, uh, he had a reputation. What kind of reputation? Well, you get repu he, Have you ever heard of reputations in high school? Sure, but yeah. most of them aren't true. Oh please! Oh really? Oh, really? You mean the girl, the girl you with go, the please. you mean the girl with the biggest tits in school wasn't loose? Huh? No, what? usually not. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Patrick. Especially with me, yeah, Patrick. <laughs> In answer to what Vernon was saying, the the difference between what Kavanaugh had for the last several months to prepare for was for a job interview. This woman is testifying about an assault. A job interview is different than an assault. You do need more time to prepare for a job interview. She is testifying that she was assaulted by him you don't need preparation time because yeah. if it happened, mm -hmm. you know what happened, and you can go on a really a moment's notice, and you would go to the police, or you could do anything, and even 35 years later, she would know what happened, and she doesn't need the time. She's, to she's been know. getting prepped for this uh, this uh, uh, accusation for the last three months. You um, have to prep. You you're gonna get your. You know what kind of questions she's gonna get from the Republicans. I hope so. She needs to be prepped on the kinds of questions and the way they're going to attack her. She. How do you that's, need to be I mean, prepped you on ever, the truth? How do you need no, to be? You prepped need to be on prepped, on, prepped on being attacked, and being able to sit there and deal with it. 
That's what you need to be prepared for, not on your story, but when they start attacking her and 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 getting personal with her, she can't ex- she can't she, just blow up. She she's can't a doctor just, of psychology. I you don't think care. That she doesn't have training what? in how to deal with this. No, why would she? And why would Kavanaugh? He's a personal because attack. Personal attacks. All We're I'm not saying, talking about. All I'm business. saying is this psychology. is a delaying tactic. This is oh, the, oh, oh, is no question. There's no question about it. We all agree on that. And, and oh, we, yeah, and we, we, and we hope agree. we all hope they keep delaying it till the fall I comes along. I that. know you do. But that's they why I say I hope that they uh, they put him through and uh, and he does what he's going to do. Suppose he did what he did. It, it turns out that he uh, is lying and he, what he said he didn't do, he did do. Let's just say well, that. He, for, let's say that for a moment. Yeah. What would your opinion be then, Phil? Well, uh, I okay. Let me preface this by saying I want to give him innocence until proven guilty. But number number two, uh, if if the guy did it and it was proved that he did it. Then I would say let him, you know, let him step down. Okay, well that's good to hear. Right. Last night you okay, Tony's that. been trying. No, to I get... said that he's innocent until proven guilty. Tony's yeah, but been. Last night you said I want him there anyway. Yeah. Well, I do want him there. But, Tony's uh, been sheepishly. I, I don't think he's guilty. Tony's been sheepishly raising his hand. Yes, Pat. Uh, Pat. Uh, Tony. Uh, turn Mike on your off. microphone, Tony. <laughs> Wake up. Oh, don't tell me we got another one of these Marcel Marceau moments from you, Tony. <laughs> You're, you've been waiting to go on and say something, and your microphone isn't plugged in or something. <laughs> you got a smoke signal? Do smoke signals. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, Tony, Tony texted me today, and uh, I'll give you a little Tony story. He says, I'm going to call for sure. He says, but I was upstairs with my mom. And he says, uh, I told him that if he if he texted me more than three times in one day, that I would block him. Mm-hmm. He says, don't block me. So then he texts me again uh, after that text. And he says, I still have two more texts, and this one doesn't count. I said, yes, it does. You only got one text left. And so he texts me, and he says, are you calling later? And uh, asked me something about how to fire somebody. And so I uh, told him I told him the answer to that, and I told him that uh, that if he texted me again, uh, that uh, I, I it would be like he was being hit by hit by a bus, and and I said, and if you text me, you'll wish that you've been hit by the bus. We have a full house. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we do. Yeah. Sure do. Yep. Oh. Wow. Yep. Oh, oh, got on. Oh, that's yeah. Ray. Ray. Hey. Is How's this true that uh, that? Tony is using Phil as his uh, rabbi these days. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. looks that way. Looks that way. <laughs> yeah, he, but he gets bored at work, and I get three hundred texts. So, I, he doesn't dare text me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wait a minute! You see, we but can't. I, we can't was, Tony, cute. Tony, we can't hear you. <laughs> but it was it He's was doing his own cute. show. Yeah, I told him. I said, Uh-oh. he says, does this text count? count? I said, yes, it does. Ale- hey, you got a royal flush. Got a royal flush because we got Jack Bishop. The hey, host there. of the Hi, intersection. There. Yes, uh, Patrick. I just wanted to say that the best thing about Tony is when he texts you is I always put mine on, what is it, notification mute for like an hour. And then I can get all, I can read it all at once because you only send three or four words every time and your phone is buzzing. Right. Not stop. Right. So I just put it on mute for like an hour, and then I'll check back, and then it'll say 25 messages. And then I can just read it all at once and answer the question. <laughs> but I, 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 I use the, the block. I like the block. <laughs> I, I don't mind reading it. The Paul just, Lynn for the block? It, yes. <laughs> <laughs> It's well, you know, it's you know, it's amazing to me is that we actually have in our royal flush more people almost on the panel than we have watching us. So, you know, this is. Uh, <laughs> this well, is, Renee was on the text message as well ago on uh, on uh, YouTube. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, if she calls now, it'll screw up Alex's screen. But, yeah, we can't uh, we can't take any more people. This is the most we can have. Otherwise, we just get the screen gets crammed. Yes, uh, Jack. <laughs> 
I just wanted to ask Phil a question. Have you ever testified in the trial? Yeah. Yeah, nothing very important. Oh, How yeah. many times? Uh, the, twice. Does sex with a sheep count? Once. once <laughs> for one, uh, No, it was <laughs> depositions. It never went to trial. And then the only trial I had to testify in was uh, I pulled a guy over for no fl front plate. We were doing that, and uh, he... He pled not guilty, and I said, yeah, so, I pulled him so over. So you've never had to testify in a uh, civil case? Uh, only uh, depositions. Well, you see, depositions don't count. Because well, they're, they're sworn. They're sworn, but they don't count. Well, they do if you go to trial and uh, they, they, and they, they find they a discrepancy. They count then. Now, here's what I'm getting at. I've had to testify in about four or five different cases, including... Uh, for uh, the plaintiff and for the defendant in, in these situations. And, uh, you know, I've been slinging words together uh, most of my life, and the first time I had to do that, I'd only been in broadcasting at that point for about 10 years. And you know what I found out? You have to really pay attention to the questions that you're asked. Right. You know, you can't, you know, you just can't go by spontaneity of response. Well, that's why she has an attorney. Well, that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is, is this. Uh, if you're not prepped, you could say things completely detrimental to the position that you're trying to present. And I like did. The, like the truth? You could no. pull a Donald Trump. I know, I know, I know what he's truth. saying. I mean, what you've got when you have somebody cross-examining you is somebody who's very much an expert in trying to make you look bad. Yes. And so he can he he can ask you a question that you didn't quite get the right way because he parsed it in a certain way, and then you answer it wrong, and then you have to backtrack, and then that sounds wrong too. I think she's pretty uh, intelligent, you know. You don't she's, know. No, you don't just know. You never. Stuff have up, you dude. heard? Have you heard a word one of her? Have you seen a? Yeah. Have you seen any no. video of her? How All you've you see seen that? are pictures of her well, when she was sixteen years old. Because of her qualifications. All right. Well, look. You know, uh, we have a guest on my show who uh, has testified probably in more cases than anybody I know. And. He explained once to me in a conversation over lunch, he said, you know, it was the scariest moment I'd ever had in my life because I'd never done it before. I was an expert in my <laughs> field, mm -hmm. but to explain what I observed and what I saw and what I heard, I was scared to death. And this guy's a psychologist, Yeah, you know, so he should know how to put his words together and make it make sense. But... Uh, you, you know, you you find yourself sitting there in that chair, and it's not like Perry Mason. You find yourself sitting in that chair, man, and they're throwing stuff at you left and right, and it may not be what you're expecting. I I, I doubt that the Republicans, they're going to ask her any of those kinds of questions that are if going they do to it. make what? themselves What, what Phil? Bad. Phil? Dream, oh, dream on. They're going to do everything they Come can on, to nail Phil. her. No, no, they can't hey. pull an Anita Hill on this one. They're hey, gonna have. To, they're oh. gonna have to be respectful. Well, they're, Phil, they're, they're, are we dealing with lawyers on this? Uh, in this committee, mainly you're dealing with lawyers. Yes. And yeah, lawyers but know how they, to take advantage of me, you, and even Alex Bennett. Lawyers that want to get reelected, you know. So are, I, I, I don't think that they're that gonna makes, butcher that her. That highly suspect of them in the first place. Why do you? Why do you want that kind of grief in your life? All I'm saying, look, look, let, 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 need a back out of pain. Let me, let me put this, uh, and then, then we go to Ray. Let me just yeah. boil this down, and that is that uh, this is not like a lot of other things. This is where we are going to be, uh, literally, as you say, hiring. Although I can't think of this as a job application. Uh, a person to have a job for life. He can't be fired from it, and he's going to make decisions which are going to impact our lives for the next half a century. I think we should look at everything very slowly. And if it takes weeks to get her to come in and testify, then we've got to get this out of the way. Uh, we can't, wait a minute, we can't just sit there and go, no, we want to rush this thing. If you're not here by Wednesday, we're going on with the vote. It sounds so ridiculous yeah. to even hear that. Yeah, because hey, it's... They're going to give her her chance. 
she can voice her thing, then they'll vote. No, <laughs> she said she wants to do Thursday, and Grassley said you got to be here Wednesday. Uh, you, uh, first Ray and then Jeff. Well, I just want to say that Christine Ford lives literally two blocks from me, and um, I don't know her, but I have friends who know her well, and she's a totally upstanding, sane individual. Um, so I just wanted to say that, <laughs> which is why she wants to bring this guy Kavanaugh down, like most sane people. They don't want to <laughs> nut. Yeah, I mean, yeah, and I don't even know if she wanted the. I didn't. It didn't her name get leaked, and then well, she kind of no, had she, to. She she brought this. She chose to, her, to have it. Yeah. Have it. yeah, I was listening to Kellyanne Conway yesterday. She was lying. Yeah, she uh, she she told she told Diane Feinstein to go ahead, right? But right. she said under yeah. anonymity. Yeah, right. No, didn't no, want after. To uh, well, that's what's confusing. I don't know. Uh, she it did... changed. She agreed to identify herself. Uh, yeah, okay. uh, she had to finally, because she was outed by somebody in mm-hmm. some magazine, found out who she was. Oh, yeah. And, and uh, th- then when it became that way, she told Feinstein, who had sworn anonymity, that she would not mention who the person was that she could go ahead and say who it was because it was out now. And so that's when Feinstein revealed the name. Yes, Jack. Bill, the vast majority of sexual assaults oh, against oh, excuse women... Me, excuse me, I have to go to Jeff first. He had right. his hand up. Yes, Thank you. Jeff. Well, the one thing I want to say, Phil, you didn't, you didn't like the idea that, that uh, it might take some time for her to respond. She's asking for 12 hours. So I want 12 hours after the uh, guy who's who's been uh, a judge his whole life, okay, and and who's been over there, over by uh, they're, Trump's they're house. probably going to give it to her. Seven First they people. said Friday, you know, then they said Monday, I mean, then now it's Wednesday. Well, shut up a minute, please. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. <laughs> What do you think? You're Alex Bennett? Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> 12. No offense. Hours. Give the lady a shot. What's the oh, fucking hurry? Afraid of. Yeah. What's the hurry? That's what I want to know. Yeah. Hey, we said I, that I, last I want, night, didn't we? Rob. I want to get the You're guy confirmed. Why? It's, What's the it, hurry? And I want, uh, I'm point. happy. I am happy that giving her a Mike. voice to voice what she says, and if she sways, if she sways those senators, and they don't uh, uh, recommend uh, uh, this uh, uh, candidate, then uh, you know what? That's that's what she's trying to do, and she's also uh, the Democrats are trying to stall this thing, and you're sitting there with smug, smug uh, looks on your face, saying, "Yeah, I, we're." I don't see anybody looking it. smug. Uh, yeah, Ray was. Uh, no, uh, because how do you know what she's trying to do? That's what I. That's yeah, what I was how, you're like, you don't know what I know what the Demo- I know what the Democrats are trying. No, to do. you said I, she was trying to do something, well, which Feinstein. made me look smug because you have no idea what she's trying to well, do. Feinstein happens to be a she, whether you believe it or no, not. No, the woman, Christine. Yeah, Feinstein's oh, the one that fuck brought it. this letter Dr. forward. Ford. Yeah. Anyway, uh, uh, first uh, Jack, then Patrick. Well, the vast majority of sexual assaults against women in this country are never reported, including right. including the ones involving some of the women that I have uh, known in my life. My first wife was sexually assaulted, grabbed, uh, 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 paw, uh, uh, pawed the whole damn thing, and I asked her, I said, Peg, how come you didn't go to somebody about this? And she said this with a look of pain that I will never forget. She said, because I knew that none of the men that I would have had to report this to would have believed me. And and Charlene is right there, and she knows I'm right about that, too. Right, Charlene? I agree. It was, you know, it wasn't the way that uh, people did it uh, years ago. Uh, Women weren't believed. But it's the not, pendulum is swinging too far to the other side. It hasn't, it hasn't begun to swing yet. What? Well, with this Me Too movement. 
It hasn't even begun to swing yet. You talk to some of your cop friends. Alex, they, Alex it, said. Alex said that you know what's going to ruin the Me Too movement is when they start accusing people that are innocent. And, and and they come out with egg on their oh, face. Oh, I think they and already I, have. I just don't think that it's been completely proven by anybody. Well, I uh, think Kavanaugh is one. Patrick, no, I I don't think Kavanaugh is one of them. I I know I know the Kavanaugh type. He's a, he's a <laughs> he's a sleaze ball. Yes, Patrick he did it. He did it, right, Ray? He did it, right? He did it. What, why are they acting so guilty if he didn't do it? Why are they in such a hurry? Why are they so defensive? They know because, he did it. They know he did it. Blue wave that you oh, bullshit. Yeah, about. blue fucking well, wave. Well, well, you had a red wave here two years ago. Quit bitching. Everybody gets their shot at the yeah. ballpark. Okay, yeah. Patrick. I don't have a problem with the addition of what Ed Jeff said at, at 12 hours, but what I have a feeling that's going to happen is it, okay, not Wednesday, we want it Thursday. Then when it comes to Wednesday, they're going to say, well, Thursday is too soon. Let's do it Friday. And then they're going to go on Thursday. Well, Friday is too soon. Let's move it to the following Monday. And it's just, uh, it's just a dog and pony show of moving the chess pieces further down the board. And that's all it is. It, it, it's going to become less about her assault and more just stalling and politicking. And, and I it. also I also understand that October 1st is a significant date for one Sorry. reason or another. Uh, and uh, what? October 1? But uh, so the, the, if they can stall it uh, just long enough, uh, I, I believe that, uh, I think it's the 1st of October, uh, is, is something okay. where uh, they're going to go away. They got to adjourn. They got to do something. So it's the beginning of the uh, it's the beginning of the next court, October first. Ah, okay, yes. So they want to get him sworn in before the court. That's what happened with the right. other guy. This That's is fine, something right? we, should never, we should they never. We should never that way about Merrick Garland though. Yeah. yeah. Well, they didn't want him. Oh, okay. They who? It, uh, it, uh, the Republicans. Uh, well, yeah. Uh, you let's see. You you have your hand up, uh, Jack. Yeah. So you know, do you want a shot clock like in basketball? You got to take the shot by so many days. That's what this is. No, no. Wait a minute. Is that what you want, though? If you if you want to tell me, that's I, what I want. Well, I I want the guy to get sworn in but on you, a timely basis if he's want, if he's innocent. You, do you want a shot clock that you well, have? There's no reason to delay. Uh, till after the this there's every starts. reason to delay Phil you no. don't rush this no. kind of process if you you know that you have to you, you have to be deliberate they're and delaying. You have, no there's we're not delaying they're just delaying there's some yes, new there is some new evidence that has made itself available to us and we should take every opportunity to hear about that evidence it's an accusation it's not evidence I worked at court for four years do you know how many times something comes up in a courtroom and everybody they go over and they talk to the judge and they adjourn because they got new information that has come in and everybody needs to look at this new information. Well, well they, they put, they've done that. No, they no, haven't, haven't done that. They haven't this heard this woman asking. yet. They haven't heard from this woman yet. Well, no. they gave her a chance. She also on wanted. Monday, she also she wanted. She was delaying. She it. also wanted. No, the, she's just pushing. Wait a minute. She also. She also first. wanted to have the opportunity to present witnesses to back up her story. And what they witnesses? won't let her do the that. The only witnesses that she says she has said that they don't know anything uh, about we it. We don't know Let's that. Put them under oath and ask. We don't know that. Let's put them uh, under oath. The yeah. only other witness is that this is not a trial. Is, 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 is that uh, guy? What's his name? Um, not um, important enough. There, it's there's not, there was not other, a one other witness. The other guy in the room, and that guy says, "Well, no, that never happened." But I won't testify. Why won't he testify? Because you're under oath, you idiot. You won't testify because you don't want to be perjure yourself. Yes, uh, 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 I'm going to give it to Patrick first, and then Jack, because Jack has his own show. Uh, yes, Patrick. Um, you, you know, it, it's funny. It, it, we were just talking about this now. I was thinking to myself, you know, this FBI that everybody is looking to to find this Russian collusion, they missed this part in their investigation of Kavanaugh. So shouldn't the Democrats just do away with, with their hope for any collusion shit because the FBI is so inept that they, they didn't couldn't... miss it. They didn't miss it, Patrick, because they, it didn't happen. 
Yeah, but I mean, I'm looking at the FBI going, this is a serious account, and it should be looked at, and they, and all of a sudden, everybody's still, you know, we're looking for collusion here and there. Well, if they can't find something big like this on a Supreme Court justice nominee, I don't think they're going to find anything on collusion, and the Democrats ought to just give it up. And That's true. Right. Bullshit. Yeah. yeah, three terms bullshit. for Trump. Yes, uh, uh, bullshit. Uh, you say it's bullshit, right? Absolute bullshit. You're just all you're doing is 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 miming the shit that's on Fox. The, our FBI are the good guys. They are doing a damn good job. Trump is the fucking asshole, and his yeah, like and his people. Movie. They are the bad guys. They are colluding with Russians. We saw him okay. on TV doing it. What the fuck do you need? Huh? His son Ray? had meetings with him. What the fuck do you need to know that this is happening? Oh, so, I, I'm so uh, sick I, I, of let, hearing listen, this let me, shit. Let me boil this. I can't all. stand hold it anymore. Second. Let me boil. I mean, it's just fucked up. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me boil this. Let me don't, yeah, what? Hold on. Let me, me boil this down. Well, listen, l- for, Phil. Let me let me boil this down to one word I just made up today about what I think of Trump's time in office, because it reminds me very much of New York politics and the kind of thing that goes on in New York. We are now living in a mafiocracy. Theocracy. A mafiocracy. Mafiocracy. <laughs> did you see my response to that, Alex? So, what did you say? I said, uh, in the uh, new term sense, I'm paraphrasing, in the new term sense, you make post-John Gotti age, you, you, you're on to something, but uh, it, old-timey-wise, people like Lucky Luciano and, uh, you know, the days of Meyer Lansky and uh, all those people, mm-hmm. um, you, they, they wouldn't want this kind of exposure. Yeah, exactly. Um, gee, we lost Which Ray. Ray, Ray, was was really, Ray was really <laughs> bothered and hot under the collar. Ray, I wish you'd stuck around there. Uh, yes, uh, uh, Jack. Hey, I got to go, but look, uh, Alex said the most important thing. This is an appointment that is a lifetime appointment. Decisions by this court will affect my great grandkids. Now, it took the FBI three to four days to investigate charges against Clarence Thomas involving Anita Hill. Haven't we got three to four days we can waste on this one? On that note, I'll see you for the intersection in about six minutes. Okay. Bye bye. Uh, okay, Jack is gone, uh, and Ray, you might want to call Jack because I don't think Phil's going to call Jack. So you know, you can get get all everything off your chest. Yes, uh, Jeff. What what Jack just said is is very important about his grandkids, but it's even more important for my grandkids. You know why? Because I got four granddaughters. Yeah. And. And this guy who wants to be working for Trump and changing a lot of things that affects women can affect all of my people. Well, he's also going to be someone who probably, if there is an impeachment, going to be involved in it and have to make decisions on that. And uh, he will be Trump's boy in the, on the Supreme Court. And that's, that's what becomes doubly scary. Uh, you know, I just think that this is not something we can approach in a cavalier fashion. It's a very important decision that we're making here. And uh, this is the most important uh, appointment, I think, in a long time in the Supreme Court. And I think that, you know, the, the, these midterms are the most important midterms I think we've ever had. They're the most consequential. Uh, so, you know, uh, whichever way you want to vote, be sure you vote in these because they're You'll never have this opportunity to get your voice uh, added to, to, to your side. Yes, quickly, Patrick, the theme is playing. I'm so happy to hear you say go vote, because even a year ago, you were bitching about voting doesn't matter. No, voting, so, no. I'm, I'm I, happy to hear that let, No, let me say this. I still say voting doesn't matter for me in New York State in a presidential race, because my vote is going to be boiled down to electoral vote, and I know the way New York's going to go, so I may as well, I don't need to vote, you know. So anyway, hey, listen, I love it. <laughs> listen, thank you, Rob. I appreciate your call tonight. Always do. Twice this week, we're blessed. 
Jeff, always blessed when we have you on. Charlene, same to you. Brian, <laughs> our little boy, we love you. Uh, uh, Vernon, twice in a row because your wife's out of the house. Boy, are you pussy whipped. And <laughs> Phil Meyer, th <laughs> thank you. Well, not as much as that Jason guy. What did you do? Did you just <laughs> tap out pussy whipped? Uh, <laughs> no, I uh, said... Bye-bye. Oh, bye-bye. And uh, Anthony Magno, thank you. And, of course, Patrick Blazik, always, always a great pleasure. Wave goodbye, everybody, so they can say goodbye to you back. Okay, that's our citizen panel for tonight. Uh, that's how it goes. It's a very simple process and original to talk. Okay? Uh, listen, we're going to be uh, uh, getting out of here now. Uh, we're going to make way for the intersection, which is next over this most of this same gab net. And uh, uh, then after that, at 1 o'clock is Connections. Uh, then I'll be back again on um, Tuesday, uh, right after Damian Chaplin at 9.30 with the uh, exchange. I'll be here at 10 o'clock. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye. <laughs>